OK, so we'll be using the equation concentration is moles over volume. There is another equation, uh, which is mass over volume. We're going to steer clear of that one. We're going to use moles over volume. So the moles, well, that's the moles of solute of what you put in to the solution, uh, put normally like the salt or the sugar or whatever. And uh, the volume, well, that's the volume of everything that you've made. So since it's an equation, the units on the left have got to equal the units on the right. So concentration is going to be measured in moles per decimeters cubed. There's three ways to write that. Uh, we're going to stick with big M, which is also molar. Don't use small m, that would be meters. Big M is molar for concentration. OK, let's just do a simple question. So what's the concentration if I have two moles of hydrogen chloride and I've made it up to four litres of solution? Four decimeters cubed, four litres, same thing. So just by putting the numbers in, that gives me 0 0.5 molar solution. Moving on, let's see to make it a little more sophisticated. Uh, just make sure that the volume is in decimeters cubed. Uh, we may give it to you in milliliters, and then you have to convert it to decimeters cubed. Otherwise, your concentration units will be wrong. And instead of giving you moles, we could give you mass and molar mass. Because moles is mass over molar mass, then that's another way of giving you moles. We're just making it a little more complicated. So let's use those two ideas for this question. So what's the concentration? of a solution of 2.6 grams of lithium fluoride and you've made it up to 500 milliliters. So back to our equation, concentration is moles over volume. Now I haven't got moles, I've got mass, so I'm going to use mass over molar mass. Looking the values up on the periodic table gives me 2.6 over 26. Okay, so that's 0 0.1 moles of lithium fluoride. I can't use 500 for the volume, I have to use 0 0.5, always convert to decimeters cubed. And so my final answer is 0 0.2 molar. Don't forget the big M or its meters.